What up? It's your girl Peach here. My channel is about natural hair. Products, tips, tutorials, techniques, anything to help you along the way in your natural hair journey. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button down below in order for you to be part of the Peach Parsh crew and get notified on all my latest videos. Let's get started in today's video. Okay, so there are 12 days before Christmas. So I was thinking, why don't I do a song and excuse my singing because I don't have a good singing voice, but I wanted to do a song because I thought it would be fun. Um, the 12 days of Christmas hairstyles. So the first day goes, on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a sleep bun. All right, so there are gonna be a few things that you're gonna need for this style. First one, of course, is your comb, wide tooth comb. Second one is a brush. I always like to use a rat tail comb for parting and separating. Also, an edge brush. A couple hair ties. A donut. Some gel. And your partridge. In case anybody didn't know, partridge is a bird. <laughs> the next thing is a handy dandy water bottle. Oh, last but not least, you're definitely going to need a silk scarf. Now, you can use whatever gel you want to use. That part doesn't really matter. It's just the fact that you use some type of a gel, right? Um, let's see. The first thing, let me make sure this is secure before we get started. Um, basically, all you want to do, it's going to be pretty simple, you guys. You're just going to take your hair down. Make sure that it's thoroughly detangled. That's the key to this style, okay? Making sure your hair is thoroughly detangled. I've already detangled mine in the shower, and I do have a leave-in on right now. I always recommend you guys put the leave-in on before you put the gel on. Just helps to keep that moisture locked in and somewhat protect the hair. Now, if you guys see me looking over to the right, your left, my right, <laughs> that it will be because I am trying to look at the mirror or the monitor so I can see what's going on. Basically, all you want to do is pull your hair back. Okay. Now this bun, we want it to be kind of high up. So what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to have to flip my hair. But first, I'm going to make sure I kind of get this hair to going that way, in that direction. Okay. So I'm going to take my comb. I'm not actually combing it out. I'm just kind of combing it in that direction. I'm going to do the perimeter. So, putting a little bit of gel on the front. Main thing with putting the gel on your hair is making sure that you're putting it on kind of thick. Okay? So that's more or less my first layer. Because once I brush my hair, I'm brushing it into the hair okay so I had to go ahead and do that off camera it's just something I need to stand in the mirror just to see it's best to have you don't have to hold the mirror and actually just focus on holding your hair so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna grab the donut all right and we're gonna take it and just put it on just like you would an elastic all right but making sure that all you do is put it on one time Pull that hair through once. Alright, now from there, you're going to take it and spread it around. Okay, coming from the middle. And what you're trying to do is make sure that this donut is covered. I use my red tail comb. I'm not combing my actual hair. I'm just smoothing it out a little bit. Okay, and you also can use your brush if you like. You feel like that'll help you smooth some things down too. Okay. 
you can take a little bit of the gel, put it in the palm of your hands, okay, and smooth it down. What you're trying to do is make sure it's covered and you're trying to make sure that not only that it's covered, but that it looks pretty neat. Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this last elastic, okay? And we're gonna go hold the bun or the donut and just go right, like right underneath it, okay? So now you're gonna have the shape of the bun. Now what I do from here, it's about tucking it, but since my hair is a little longer, I'm going to show you guys from the back. What I normally do is I go and I'll cross these two sections. Okay? And then just bring it around. And then just tuck it. Just tuck it. Another thing you could do, you could take your rat tail comb and just slide it under. Okay? Okay, just using like the side of it, not the pointing side. You can do that if you want to, but you might poke yourself. <laughs> I just do it like this. I know you guys are looking and saying, oh, but peace, your hair's not sleep. You're right, it's not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to now take this silk scarf here. I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it from the middle. To the middle section okay and then i'm end up with a piece like this a triangle then i take the triangle i'm gonna go behind my head and i'm gonna meet it in the middle now when i meet it in the middle i want to make sure that i cross them over and that i am covering my edges the reason why I want to cover my edges is I want the edges to lay down so I cover them as well. And then I just tie it securely. Now I'm going to go ahead and speed this process up. Now, usually I have to sit underneath the dryer for this process, but I'm not doing that today because I don't want to and I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get my blow mold dryer and diffuse this. Once I diffuse it, it should go ahead and be all smoothed out. Now, technically, it is the second day for me. I want to let you guys know some things that I discovered while I was doing this hairstyle. You want to make sure you use a lot of water, use a lot of gel, and that this is completely slicked down. And the reason why is once you start going and messing with your bun and trying to reshape it, make sure it's shaped the way you want, you're going to kind of end up touching this part here. So it's very important to make sure this is secure, all the sides, before you start meddling with the bun. Then it's very important that you use some type of the silk scarf like I have, or I even thought of the wraps, you know, I believe they're called wrap ties. And basically, they're just the white ties that you tie around to smooth things out. And that'll help you to not get so many frays, loose hairs, okay? Or these little curls that like to spring into action, right? So, what I also discovered is that it needs to really be dry. Because if it's not dry, it's just going to mess right back up. And that's just how it is. Because after it's dry, it's already, you know, gotten into that shape. It's already set. Now, we're going to go ahead and put our final touches on this bun. And what I have here is my little bird. I don't know if you guys can see him. Isn't he cute? So, on the bird, though, it does have a clip. So, I'm going to go ahead and clip this bird into my bun. Now, for whatever reason, this clip is backwards. I would think they have the clip the other way, but I'm going to make it work, okay? me and my partridge in the sleep bun. So what I'm going to do, 
just gonna find where I want to put him. And that's important because if you get to taking it out and moving it around, you're gonna just mess up that bun again. It won't be as sleek. Let's see. I'm just gonna put him right in the middle. Which I think of it. Looks like it's right on the nest. But it's my partridge in a sleek bun. Let's see. I'm gonna take the clip. And just clip them on in there. All right. So what do you guys think? I'm going to go ahead and do a 360. Okay. So that's my partridge in a sleek bun. So you guys... Stay tuned because each day I'm going to do a different hairstyle. Tomorrow's going to be day two. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.